My friends, what are you doing in my bedroom? No, just kidding. I'm glad you're here, actually, because today I'm going to be talking about pillows. Specifically, how to wash them before they start to smell. So check it out. My wife goes on these women retreats sometime, and I always ask her three questions when she gets back. Number one, did you have fun? Number two, how did you sleep? And number three, did you win the pillow fight? Because that's what women do when they get together and have sleepovers, right? I don't know, but you can't be taking dirty, stinky pillows to your pillow fight. It's just plain unethical. You're going to scar these people for life. And so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean those pillows with confidence. Okay, so let's talk about how to wash pillows. It's basically pretty easy. I'm gonna give you a level one cleaning, and I'm gonna give you a level two cleaning. Level one cleaning, how to wash your pillows. Before you start, the most important thing you wanna know is, is my pillow machine washable, right? Now, it's real simple to find out. All you have to do is all pillows have a tag, right? And the tag tells you exactly what to do. So, is my pillow machine washable? Well, let's find out, let's dig in, shall we? Okay, machine wash and dry on the following settings. I have a machine washable pillow right here. Oh yeah. Frequency every six weeks, water level high. Temperature 130 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot water, that's the hot water setting. Cycle regular, tumble dry. It says to tumble dry on low until completely dry. Oh gosh, what more could I ask for? Okay, so check it out. If you have a machine washable pillow, for the level one cleaning, stick it in your washing machine. Do two pillows at a time to balance it out. Don't do like four, five, six pillows. Don't overstuff your washing machine because it's not gonna work as well. So just do two pillows at a time. Stick it in there with your favorite detergent, right? Whether it be Tide, whatever. Whatever smells good to you, wash it. Um, so send it through the wash cycle, the longest, hottest wash cycle, right? And um, after you're done, I recommend do, it, do a second rinse cycle. Just rinse, just regular water to make sure that you wash all the soap out of the pillow before you move on to the drying process. For the drying process, what you're gonna do is take your pillow out of that washing machine, put it in your dryer, turn it to the low setting as we just read, and uh, before you turn it on, I recommend sticking two of these little wool dryer balls in there with it. Now, if you don't have these, you can use two tennis balls, whichever you prefer. I don't know. Um, I like these, though. Tennis balls stink, and they're yellow, and I don't want my pillow coming out yellow. So, um, boom. Dryer wool balls right here. Use these things. Stick them in the dryer with it while it's drying on low. And what these things do is they just they beat the pillow and knock out excess moisture and they just aid in the drying process and help it to dry better. So, um, if you don't, oh, <laughs> they're trying to fall out of my hands here. If you don't have these, if you can't find them, I will leave these listed and linked down below. Okay, so let's talk about the level two wash now. For the level two wash, everything is exactly the same, except for one thing. You're gonna do one thing differently, and here's what you're gonna do. Take your pillow, stick it down in your washing machine, and fill it up with hot water until the water's right above the pillow, okay? So don't fill it all the way up. Don't fill the washing machine all the way up. Fill, the, fill it up with hot water until it's right above the pillow. You can even put boiling water if you'd like. Boiling water would work great as well. So fill it up with hot water, put some laundry detergent in there, and you're gonna let it soak for one hour. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give the detergent uh, a nice head start. It's going to loosen it up. It's going to loosen up the, the dirt and the grime and any nastiness, you know. And um, it's going to give it a nice head start before it actually starts to twist and turn and scrub and wash. So uh, that's the only thing you're really going to do different. Everything else is completely the same. It's going to wash and then you're going to dry it the exact same way. And that, my friends, is the level two wash. A couple things I'll mention before we close is if you wash your pillows and they come out all lumpy and disproportioned, or if you can take your pillow, fold it over, and it doesn't spring back open like that, then it's probably best to just go ahead and, and, and replace the pillow. 
Also, let's talk about yellow pillows. So pillows get all those yellow stains all over them because we sweat at night and the sweat gets in the pillow and just dries and then turns uh, yellow. Kind of like uh, if you had a white t-shirt and your armpits had turned yellow, it's because you've been sweating. You haven't been putting on your antiperspirant. You've been wearing deodorant versus antiperspirant. Antiperspirant clogs your pores. Deodorant doesn't. <laughs> Anyways, so <laughs> so basically, if the pillow is all yellow, stinky, and nasty looking, um, yeah, there's ways to whiten the pillow. There's a recipe where it calls for like one cup of dishwashing detergent, one cup of laundry detergent, one half cup of borax, and then one half cup of bleach. The problem is, is if you've been watching this, these videos for long enough, if you've been following this channel for long enough, then you know I don't recommend mixing bleach with other chemicals. It's just, it's a dangerous habit to get into. It's a bad habit to get into because mixing bleach with the wrong chemical can create toxic fumes that can really harm you and even kill you if, you know, if in the right circumstance. So I don't recommend mixing bleach in any circumstance on this channel. So if your pillows are yellow and have sweat all over them, then that's another reason, then probably just go ahead and replace them. If you want to go ahead and wash the pillow anyway and try to get it white and get all the yellow stuff out, then just wash it, you know, with bleach, okay? So put it in there, water, cup, half cup of bleach. Um, but don't be mixing it with chemicals. With that being said, my friends, thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a big clean with confidence thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more great content and um, implement the steps I've outlined in this video and you will be well on your way to becoming the domesticated cleaning savage that I know you are.